Hello Team Iceland, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeannie and you are in the best place if you're planning a trip to Iceland. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about my eight favorite things about living in Iceland. And yes, it was tough to whittle my list down to eight things. So it's no secret that I am in love with Iceland. I've created a whole business about it. <laughs> and so my list of things that I love about living in this country is quite long. But today I wanted to share some things with you that you might not have considered. Obviously the gorgeous landscapes are a no brainer and has me road tripping as often as I can. But I also wanted to let you in on some of the little day to day things that make living here so magical for me. Now we're gonna get right into the good stuff, but before we do, make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I release new Iceland planning videos every single week and I wanna make sure that you have all the information that you need so you can feel confident about your trip. Hey, I'm Jeannie, and in 2014, my husband and I traveled to Iceland for our honeymoon. We fell head over heels in love with the landscapes, food, and culture. And less than a year later, we sold everything we owned and bought a one-way ticket back. Over the years, we've traveled all around this amazing country, uncovering the best road trip stops, foodie finds, and hidden gems. Now, I've made it my mission to be your one-stop resource and share what I know so that you can plan the best trip ever. Let's get into it. The first thing that I love about living in Iceland is there are no mosquitoes. Do I need to say more? Number two is winter. Maybe not everyone would agree with this, but I think that winter is a highly underrated season in Iceland. Sure, when most people think about Iceland, they think about the lush green landscapes and the purple lupina and flowing waterfalls and the list goes on. I can't argue that Iceland on a beautiful summer day is hard to beat. I mean, Iceland is literally an outdoor paradise. But winter, you guys, is so peaceful. It's incredibly beautiful. Sure, the daylight hours are short, and by short, I mean, you know, four to six hours, depending on what month you visit. But during those hours, you get some breathtaking landscapes. When everything is covered in white and the sky goes right from a sunrise into a sunset, everything kind of feels otherworldly. So while it can be cold and you might not like snow, I personally think that winter is a fantastic time to visit because it's a magical time in Iceland. Another thing I love is that there are no trees. So this is kind of a strange one to put on a list, but hear me out. Of course, saying there are no trees in Iceland is a stretch. There are some trees. It's just that the trees are not very plentiful and they don't get that big. This is because years ago, when the Vikings first inhabited the island, they cut down the trees to use it to build homes and things like that. Also, the volcanic landscape of Iceland makes it quite difficult for the trees to grow very big in the first place. So as a result, there are very, very few trees, as I'm sure you've noticed in different photos or if you've traveled here, you've definitely realized that. So basically what this results in is being able to see so far into the distance. So you can take in all these beautiful landscapes. One of my favorite examples is as you're driving through South Iceland, you can actually see the glacier on a clear day from so far away. Under normal circumstances, if there's trees obstructing your view, you're not gonna be able to see. So it's just kind of one of those special things about not having trees. Another huge, huge thing that I love is the water. Every single day, I don't have to worry about clean water. And I realize that in a lot of countries, that's not a possibility. So I just grab my glass, head on over to the tap, and fill it up with fresh Icelandic glacier water. I mean, it literally comes from the glaciers. This is like the purest, cleanest, most refreshing water in the world. And actually one of my favorite things to do when we're out exploring is to fill my water bottle up from some of the streams. Of course, I know that it's risky because if there's sheep poop and blah, 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 I've never had a problem. So drink up friends, 
It's amazing. Question for you. Did you know that you don't have to buy bottled water when you're visiting the country? And for those of you that have already been to Iceland, leave a comment below and let me know if you've experienced this delicious H2O. Number five, I love the safety in Iceland. It's so safe. Iceland is consistently known for having one of the lowest crime rates in the world. Safety is a given. Police don't carry guns. Iceland doesn't have a military. Babies sleep outside in their strollers for hours. Children walk home from school by themselves. I mean, this is an incredible thing of how living in this country and obviously expecting our first baby. This is something that I'm very, very grateful to be able to be a part of. And next up on the list of things that I love, is the fresh air. So for those of you that haven't been here, one of our favorite things to do when we're returning from abroad is the first step off the plane. Well, the first step you get a gigantic, you know, cold Icelandic wind in your face. The second thing is to take a big deep breath in of this fresh mountain air. It's so clean. It feels so crisp and it's just invigorating. So try it when you arrive, and I promise that you'll notice how refreshing it feels. Number seven on the list of things I love about living in Iceland is the renewable energy. So approximately 90% of the country's energy use comes from geothermal energy. It heats most of the houses, and it's used by many companies to manufacture their products. Even some of the sidewalks and streets are heated so that they can be naturally cleared by the use of geothermal heat. This is so, so wonderful for this country to be using all of their natural energy that they have, renewable and sustainable ways. And if you haven't already, I highly recommend the documentary called Down to Earth. It's on Netflix. It's a show that's done by Zac Efron. And he goes around to certain places in Iceland and demonstrates Iceland using these renewable energy sources and all of that stuff. So highly recommend that you check that out. Also, you'll get a glimpse into some beautiful Iceland landscapes. And the last but definitely not least thing that I love about living in Iceland is the slower pace of life. Icelanders really value the work home life balance. A typical workday wraps up at 5 p.m., if not earlier, and you do have a lot of flexibility in leaving your workplace if you need to, for example, pick your child up from daycare. This allows people to go home, cook a meal, sit down with their family, and enjoy that time together rather than just, you know, rushing off from one thing to another. So I really feel like they're prioritizing the family life here. Another big way that I see this lower place of life is from store hours. One of my favorite examples is that when we first moved here, we had gone, my husband and I went to the mall on a Sunday and we drove up and there were no cars in the parking lot. And then we realized that the mall doesn't open until one o'clock on Sundays. And so while we were like, what is happening? You know, the people that were employees are, are able to enjoy some time on the weekends rather than working all these crazy long hours and this and that. I also see it in the grocery stores here. So a typical grocery store is open until nine o'clock with certain exceptions. In smaller towns, the hours are even earlier. And so it's just a nice reminder of taking a slower pace of life. I love that about living here. All right, my friends, that is it for today. If you guys like this video, make sure to please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you guys don't miss any future Iceland videos. I'll see you guys next time, but until then, happy planning.